Okay, I head inside the camp trailer now, up this handy little foldable step, just stays in under the thing again. Uh, we had a little plastic one to start off with, but I think I may have been a little bit too heavy for it and uh, cracked it on the way out, so we've got a nice sturdy metal one now. Anyway, up into the camper and in the traveller, plenty of room in the back here. Uh, we bring our suitcases on extended travels just to keep all the gear. We've got um, clothing for all occasions, cold weather gear, warm weather gear, um, as, the, as the weather dictates. Uh, towel hanging, spot to put your cub hats up here. I've also got an extra storage box down there. It's just got miscellaneous items. Uh, we just chuck in the back of the car. It's got some extra linen, tea towels, other bits and pieces, but you can put anything in that. Uh, and when we have been camping with my uh, teenage daughter, a uh, little swag will fit perfectly in there or mattress fits uh, perfectly along there. So you've certainly got room for kids in here and or a young adult. Heading up this way to the bed, love the fact that you can just leave the bed set up. So we've got all our pillows, all our bedding is permanently on here. Um, it's great to know that you can just open the camper trailer up and the uh, bed is there. A couple of things, this is the light that came standard, it's a velcro is onto the roof. Um, I think you can leave it on when you pack up, but I just take it off and just chuck it in the storage storage box here at the end of the bed just to make sure the wires don't get caught or it doesn't um, crimp the wires or anything like that. So very easy to put up when you first set up. A couple of little things. I think this is an Austrail uh, fan. Runs on AC and DC power. Also has a light if you need it. Um, I'll just unplug that there. There we go, and it sits up on the storage container at night and just gives you a nice little breeze and that stays permanently in under the camper trailer. Got your uh, two sockets there for any 12 volt accessories and also your 240 volt uh, for like we've got there, toothbrush charger. We're currently charging the fan, uh, but anything else uh, electrical you need to run, hair dryers. Um, that kind of thing. Uh, standard on this Traveller TX was the power pack, so we've got a couple of um, USB points either side of the bed and the light stalk uh, reading light, which is very handy. Um, yeah, good to have up there. So either side of the bed as well, there's plenty of room on the sides of the mattress to keep a wallet, phone, keys, whatever. We keep a couple of head torches there at night at the end of the bed so we always know if we need to get up in the middle of the night that that's where you that's where your head torch is storage under the bed um yeah like i said the box for our fan the uh the work platform that holds the barbecue fits under here the extra canvas that we've got for the kitchen end is there we've got a box full of um Box full of uh, wet weather gear and warm weather gear. Plenty of room uh, to keep keep anything you need in under there. What else in here? Uh, I've got a little storage box here, a little seat, and a little seat, and also plenty of room to put other miscellaneous items. We keep a dustpan and brush and the light when it's in there and uh, canvas covers, anything you need. I mean, you can put anything in there. Um, you could make it lockable, I think, if you put, you know, some, a latch on here, you could padlock that, but I don't know, camping people seem pretty honest. So that's the inside of the tent. Um, perfectly seasoned. We've just come back from the Daintree uh, rainforest. We were there before we were in Cobalt and it rained every night um, and no issues, no leakage. Uh, it was great. Uh, yeah, comfy bed. Plenty of ventilation, um, yeah, big windows. It's great, we love it. So just head back outside. Another couple of little things we've got that I failed to mention earlier. Let's get these little uh, hex head screw pegs. Here we're in a gravel base, so you're not gonna get a tent peg in there very easily. I think that was a Bunnings special. It was $15 for 
for 20 of them, including the Hexat driver for the cordless drill. They just go in the ground with the cordless drill. Pretty easy. Um, I probably will replace those with Super Peg Make them as well, and I think the plastic heads are just a little bit more sturdy. If you come down this way, last thing I'll show you is we ordered the uh, the thermal thermal blanket from Minlarton uh, Distributors down in South Australia. Um, they make these for all different types of camper trailers, but they certainly have a massive range for the cub and have all the dimensions on hand. So you pretty much just tell them what model cub camper trailer you have and they'll make it. Um, sends it, comes with a, uh, all the rope that you need to tie it on and works perfectly. And I think from the time I ordered that from Adelaide to Townsville, I was in the post about a week later, got here. Got your storage boxes over here. This is where all the uh, electrics are. DC charger, your battery uh, status, your trip switch for your 240, all your stuff. And you've got a reasonably sized uh, little storage box here. You've got all I need, you know, extra fittings for taps, my level for when we set up. I've got all my solar extension leads. I've got a little uh, uh, 12 volt uh, pump to pump up the tires, little toolkit in there. That's where I put all the, the leads, power leads, everything. And then over this side, you've got your extra storage. And in that, I've got, I've, that's where I keep uh, my fire pit. I've got my uh, solar blanket, a 200 watt Kings, which does the trick. All my pegs, uh, like I said, the barbecue goes in there, our camp chairs, spare gas bottle, everything. So that's the plenty of storage space on this uh, cub. Jerry can in there for some spare water. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you've enjoyed it, as I mentioned earlier in the video. My name's Sean. Um, and I've been talking to you today about our 2019 Traveller with the TX package. And that TX package came with the extra lighting, the extra 12 volt, the battery, all the electrical system as you saw earlier, upgraded suspension uh, with shocks as well and an upgraded uh, drawbar to make it a little bit more heavy duty and um, off-road capable. Uh, we love it. Deb and I have been, like I said, we've spent a month or 30 nights out of the last 12 months on the road, uh, traveling all over Queensland. Uh, it's been, yeah, it's been great. We've really enjoyed it. And as I said earlier, the Pajero Sport tows it uh, yeah, fantastically. So we're really happy with the Traveller uh, and all the service we've had from Cub. Um, yeah, it's been a really, really good thing. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Feel free to ask any questions if you've got any questions on the equipment that I've mentioned. Uh, this is not a paid advertisement. This is just my, uh, my take on our gear that we've bought and stuff we've acquired along the way to make our lives a little bit more comfortable on the road. So Hope you've enjoyed it. Happy camping and might see you on the road one day. Cheers.